I like the strumming. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm reacting to the song 21 by Milo Meskins. And it's done by a girl called Aimer. Aimer, uh, I'm not sure. But Milo Meskins is actually a Belgian guy. He, he's from Belgium. Uh, and so am I. And apparently the cover that is done here is also by a Belgian girl. And I think that's her name. Now Milo is a Belgian guy and this song is probably not that internationally known uh, but it's in English so you guys uh, will definitely understand what it's about so when I did this cover it was filmed in Budapest and I was there together with my buddy Dries uh, who also recorded the video and I remembered when I filmed it and posted it uh, I made a post on Instagram about it and Milo commented on my post. So that was quite awesome because I had a really small following uh, back then. And now even, I mean, I'm growing, but it's still quite small. But that said, this video does not have a lot of views. Uh, my cover has more views than this. This is only like 388 times uh, viewed. So it's, it's not a lot. But I have no expectations. I know the song and it's a Belgian girl. I didn't find a lot of covers from this one either way. So, but I'm very interested. Let's see what this is about. Let's hear it. When I was four, started playing this guitar, looking for, looking for I think this is a live setup, but there's a great So here comes the chorus. So she goes lower in her voice. I quite like her voice actually. So what's the case here? First of all, there's a great amount of reverb on her voice. I don't think uh, it distracts from the song, It's it fits. I mean, I like her voice. Also, what we see on her guitar, it's a Taylor guitar, acoustic guitar. I th I'm not sure it's an acoustic one, but it could be a semi-acoustic as well. Um, so what I see is that she uses a capo on the sixth fret of uh, of her guitar. She has a, a belt of the of the guitar of a, of a Gibson. Now I I'm not sure because uh, you see on her guitar just above the arm that there's some kind of knot on there, and I assume that's to attach the the belt to carry your guitar. But it's not attached as far as I can see, so I'm not really sure where it's attached to. Uh, she plays with a plectrum, I think. Uh, I said that she goes lower in the chorus, but actually. Uh, she's just higher up in the verses uh, because in the verses Milo Meskis, I'm not sure if it's in the same tone I think it could be in the same tone but she does the verses in an octave higher than Milo Meskis does uh, because I mean he's a, he's a guy and she's a girl so it's uh, it's not that strange but in the chorus then she goes to the same um, tone that he does if it's in the same tone but on the same uh, height the same octave uh, So that's that's interesting. I like it. Keep going She has her own touch also A little bit of tapping Yes, I like the strumming just before the chorus. I'm 
I'm not really sure what the stickers on her guitar mean, but... So for this part, she also goes lower. She continues, okay. Just a little instrumental part, keeping the chords. Okay, so she continues. Oh yeah, that's. Oh yeah, that's because there's usually, but that's is because she's only having her guitar. Uh, as a support to her voice but usually in the song itself there's a little kind of riff guitar riff uh, at that point and that's why I thought it's instrumental but that's the point where the guitar riff uh, starts yeah okay oh that last chord was not really that clean but Okay, um, I actually quite like her voice and the use of reverb in her voice is actually I like some reverb in the voice. It gives some It sounds better. I think it seems more flawless What I do hear though is in the quiet moments is that you hear the sound of her like uh, of like computers or uh, or speakers or that are that are just turned on uh, you hear that in the background and that's probably because like there could be some compression on her voice when she recorded the the sound or perhaps afterwards she put some compression on the voice that's possible and then you can hear that when it's silent because then the the rustling effect is is higher um, at the quiet times I don't really understand why it's only viewed like 388 times I really like it um, I mean it is simple it's just her playing at that point in time because I mean I have done that on my previous channel as well and uh, quite a lot of those videos have more reach than hers here and it's not bad at all perhaps maybe maybe I like the reverb but perhaps there could be a little less uh, reverb and that would perhaps fit better I'm not sure it's just a suggestion <laughs> I see that she also did a cover of one more light by Linkin Park that's interesting guys if you want to see my uh, cover of this uh, song then you can click the link somewhere above here I had fun filming that one next week uh, will be a cover of I were I was ready this time next week will be uh, a cover of Snow Patrol's don't give in and that was a video that I filmed in the Philippines so that was a very uh, nice one in my opinion as well so uh, i hope you stay tuned for that one uh, thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe like and share the video also don't forget i have other reaction videos i have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out so thank you very much and see you guys next time bye